Hey everybody, it's Ron from Ron's Basement. Thank you for joining me today in the basement and I want you to do one quick thing for me, please. I want you to press pause and think about two good things you did yesterday. Go ahead, do it. All right, don't you feel better now? I tell you something else you can feel good about. Goldman Sachs is predicting $2,500 gold. I learned that last night. And it's not so much that they're predicting that, it's why that I found very interesting. I'm gonna share it with you in this video. Let's go. All right, guys, so why? Why is Goldman Sachs predicting $2,500 gold? I read this article on Zero Hedge last night, authored by Matthew Piepenberg, and he has a little blurb here about Goldman Sachs. Uh, I'm gonna read this to you, because it's key. Although it's easy to poke fun at Goldman Sachs, I'm pleased to confess that Jeff Curry, so we're joined here today by our invisible guest, Jeff Curry, Goldman Sachs, Global Head of Commodities Research, has correctly addressed what, what he calls the perfect storm for gold. Now to me, I love perfect storms. I love the word confluence, a confluence of factors, when several factors come together, which are working in our favor, and that's what's happening. I'll read further. That is a near perfect convergence of three key gold demand forces, or weather fronts, are now in motion. The first of these weather fronts is growing retail demand, essentially, okay? Retail, like us, normal people all over the world are buying gold, so there's huge retail demand. Next, what the next weather front is coming from central banks. The central banks are buying gold, okay? The third weather front is coming from sovereign governments, the actual governments, China, uh, a bunch of governments throughout the world. So we've got three forces that are buying gold, retail, central banks, and uh, sovereign governments. That creates common sense, right? I mean, I don't know, like Goldman Sachs, I, I don't, you know, they're all usually real fancy in their analysis, but to me, this is just common sense. When you have the three biggest forces, factors, uh, of demand for gold and they're all increasing, that can only mean one thing, and that's a higher gold price. Now, number two, he goes on to state later in the article, and you should read this article, but he states that basically, and I've said this as well, and I think you probably are realizing this, the world financial order has permanently shifted. He didn't say it exactly like that, but essentially that's what he said that because of what's going on in the world geopolitically right now, things have shifted. What I think is that most people haven't really realized or accepted that yet. And as this order shifts, you've got China, Russia, a lot of these countries that are, that are uh, kind of now aligning themselves with each other, they are pro-gold. They are big buyers of gold and there's a lot of interesting stuff going on. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. To me, that shows that outside of all the other factors that are supportive for the price of precious metals, right? All the crazy money printing, all this stuff, that the actual demand, the hard numbers from retail, central banks, and sovereign governments are showing increased demand. Uh, very interesting. I think we've got some good days ahead of us. Hey, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you being here. You're always welcome in the basement. You can give my video a thumbs up, that would help. And if you wanna subscribe, you do that right here. All right guys, have a great day and we'll see you soon.